Hey folks, I thought I'd show you today uh, my cyborg setup. I uh, feel kind of like Iron Man in the, uh, this outfit. Um, it's about 85 degrees and I'm going to be getting ready to do some, uh, make up some mating nukes. And I'm in full sun. So it's 85 degrees in the shade. Who knows how hot it is in the sun, but it's plenty warm. Um, this is a combination of my cooling vest, which I already did a kind of a little unboxing of. Um, this is more practical. Um, as well as my new vent. This is a neck fan. Um, and I'll take this stuff off so you can see it a little bit better here in a second. Um, but these two combined, my cooling vest, uh, my cooling shirt, and this fan, I can pretty much work in any temperature. Uh, warm, that is without any problem. This cooling vest right now is pumping out um, 55 degree water uh, and circulating it and it's just nice. Like I'm not soaking myself but more importantly I'm not having trouble thinking. Um, when I use this just this vest um, I noticed that my head still got pretty hot so I added this cooling fan which is great because it's real easy to move these fans and put the air where you want it. I've got it so it's blowing around the back of my head, uh, giving me a little bit of airflow in the back. Um, and so I'm getting cooling on the back side of my head and not drying my eyes out. The other thing is I bought this cooling fan, um, this neck fan, with a six speed. They've got some that are just one speed only. I recommend you buy one with variable speed so you know you know you can adjust it to suit your needs so you're not having the only issue you could possibly have is it drying your eyes out let me take this uh so to get around in the car and everything this cooling jacket or shirt has got a tank right here and turn that off and drop one arm out these are quick release um, ends, they come off, piece of cake, and you're good to go. And inside we have our bladder, which is uh, frozen with ice. It will last three hours um, if you freeze the bladder. If you just load it with ice and then throw water in it, it's going to last about an hour and a half. Um, the great thing about that is, if I'm going to a remote side, I can reload it. Give you guys a... So you guys can see the uh, tubing that runs all the way around and heavily on your back and like I said it keeps my skin is really cold to touch right now I'm not sure where it was on it just makes all the difference in the world. This unit the water research unit is about 260 something dollars uh, but this cooling fan this neck fan is only 30 bucks, and this is a uh, O-Polar brand, and I'll see if I can't bring this thing up. So you've got one button, it, it shows you how much juice is in it, it's got a charger port here, and let me take my, you got four, four buttons here, it shows you how much power, how much juice you've got, uh, your power button. So. It will run, if you put it on the lowest setting, it will run for like 48 hours. But the lowest setting literally is just a um, intermittent on and off. See it cut off. So setting one, it turns on, turns off, it cycles, just like so. 
Now, that's really minimal cooling. I don't know why anyone would actually bother putting this thing on and having it such low setting. But I run it at about three. And you can, it has a little bit of a whine. At six, it really puts out the airflow. Um, I use this successfully um, in just when I, instead of working in the sun, I, I was working the other day in 85 degree heat, but I had a little bit of shade and I just tried to use this and it was really nice. So anyway, that's my cyborg setup, how I'm going to be able to work bees in 90 plus degree heat with uh, no worries. Um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, of course, please subscribe. Uh, and uh, like the video if you want, uh, dislike it if you want, I don't know. Um, but hopefully you guys will find this information useful and, and uh, like I said, 30 bucks uh, on Amazon. It's, uh, oh, the other thing, this thing is great as far as you can bend it any direction you want and it stays put. So um, I've been real pleased and this has a 1000 milliamp hour battery. So it's a much higher capacity. Some of the others that are like 15 bucks are a 2,000 amp hour battery. So they're not going to run very long. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, Cones or Honey Farms, like and subscribe.